Today's topic, uh, we are continuing with the, the book, the same book, Letters to Young Lovers. Last time we looked at what a man should look for in a woman or in a wife. Uh, now we are going the other way. Yes, it's not just for the men, it's just for the ladies. So, questions a girl should ask before marriage. I'm not going to make any um, announcement or any thoughts about it. We're going to go straight into it. So, without further ado... Before giving her hand in marriage, every woman should inquire whether he with whom she is about to unite her destiny is worthy. Hmm. What has been his past record? Is his life pure? Is the love which he expresses of a noble, elevated character, or is it a mere emotional fondness? Hmm. Those are some very good questions to ask. Has he the traits of character that will make her happy? Can she find true peace and joy in his affection? Will she be allowed to preserve her individuality or must her judgment and conscience be surrendered to the control of her husband? As a disciple of Christ, she is not her own. She has been bought with, bought with a price. Can she honor the Savior's claim as supreme? Will body and soul, thoughts and purposes be preserved pure and holy? These questions have a vital bearing upon the well-being of every woman who enters the marriage relation. LYL 23.1 Okay. Mm, man. Whew. So ladies, ladies, that's for you. Do, you. do you ever ask yourself those kinds of questions? Now, we have to put in account that uh, this is for the, the, the Jesus Christ mindset women type not everybody but I'm gonna actually, actually let me put it that way actually um, in that first part I think this is for all kinds of women because I think women in general should have a, a man that has a good past record a man who has a pure life now when we say pure life in Christianity it it has a different meaning when it comes to the world in Christianity a pure life means somebody who has not been in the sense for men sleeping around uh, also having that tendency to lie about things actually you know what I think nobody even in the secular world would want a man who or uh, now this is about a woman I think Every single woman on this planet want a man who has traditional values. The, on, the only issue is those women don't have a traditional value. And they want a traditional man and they don't walk the traditional way. So that's a problem. Now, talking about the women, these questions are essential. And not for women, but also for men. For men as well. Is he gonna? Is she? Does she have a pure life? Does she have a bad record? Basically, like you have to ask this question to see who is that person I am gonna be with. Since this is for the women, then ladies, 
you should ask yourself these questions. What will this man bring to the table when it comes to moral values and moral attributes? Same for the men. I know it's more likely they want a man that makes six figures, six foot tall and all that. They look at the man in the outside part. But as long as the man has all of these, then everything else that's bad is okay. That's not the way it is. But, you know what? Um, but this is the part where most people don't like it. Is where I'm going to just highlight right here. I'm going to highlight that area right here. Will she be allowed to preserve her individuality? Or must her judgment and conscience be surrendered to her husband? Um, this is important because we often talk about why surrender to your husband or submit to your husband. It doesn't mean you lose your individuality. It means, and most of women that, here are the women, here are the women that do not get married. The strong, independent women. They don't get married. Any woman who gets married is because she knows that she is, she is not strong and independent. She's a strong married woman, that's good, but to be a strong independent woman, then no man would, I mean, you could get married, but you would be married to a man that you're not aroused by. Yes, I answer attracted, I said, I answer attracted, I said aroused by. Because strong independent woman would never submit to her to their husband. Here's a problem though. Submitting to your husband, it means that you acknowledge he is the head of the household. Doesn't mean that you don't have a voice. It means that when you guys talk about it, you know that his judgment is good enough that you can trust that whatever decision he makes at the end is going to be beneficial for the both of you, even more for you. Because here's the thing about men, us men, we we like to take care of our women. Sometimes we would like to do certain things for them, but because they are acting a certain way, then we can't do it. When they actually uh, allow us to be what we are supposed to be, which is the men of the house, which is the head of the house, so much burdens that they would have to carry are taken away from them and we carry them and they don't have to be stressed out by these things. So when, when God says to the women to submit to your husband, it's not that you become his slaves. You basically He's basically taking off all the burdens that you would have to carry and he would put it on his back and carry you instead. So you can be relaxed. That's why Jesus said, um, Come unto me, all ye that are uh, heavy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I forget that? Come unto me, all ye that, that, are, that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, upon you and learn from me. You know? So we have to cast our burden or our care upon him. The same way the wife. When she submits to the husband, she casts all her care, all her burden upon him. And us men, it's a joy to actually carry those burdens for our wife, for our woman. If you don't understand it that way, then you will have a hard time coping with what the Bible says. Mostly for the Christian mindset. But, you know what? Let's move on. I know I took a long time on that part, but I wanted to talk about it because it's very important, that part. Let the questions be raised. Will this union help me, heavenward? Will it increase my love for God? And will it enlarge my sphere of usefulness in this life? If these reflections present no drawback, then in the fear of God, move forward. LYL 23.2 there it is. Okay, so remember, this is for the Christian mindset first of all, but it also um, it also helps the secular world, meaning you want to find somebody who can lift you up anyways. Nobody wants to find somebody who's going to degrade them. That's 
just what it is human nature so the question is am i gonna have a better life with this man talking about the for talking about the, the ladies now is that person gonna help me get better or worse if it's better then why not go for it why not express your idea and say hey this is what i would like in the future because sometimes us men we like to sit back and let the women tell us what they really want in the future and we're like okay i can we can do that but because women have that mentality of oh he has to chase me most of them don't get what they want you have to ask those questions. If 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 all these questions comes back as a great fit, then go for it. Don't be like, oh, I'm a woman, so he has to come after me. No, you have to also be able to get what you what you would like to by going for what you want. If the man is perfectly fine and you have a great time with that person and when you guys talk, it's always the great chemistry and he helps lift you up. Ladies, by no means, don't sit back and, and say he has to keep chasing me. You go and he has to keep pursuing me. No, you go and tell him, hey, I really like what's going on between the two of us and I kind of like you as well. I would, I would like to know um, if you have any intention. If he says no, then you move and say, okay, you know what? I wanted to find a person to be a part, um, I want to find a, 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 a person to be with, but since you don't want to, then I'm going to go somewhere else. That's okay, because you don't want to waste your time with a man who doesn't want to spend time with you. If you just want to be friends and you're seeking for something more than friendship, then move move away go find somebody who is good and also good as he is if possible and if he is willing to get into uh, into a relationship then choose that person but don't get hung up into that one guy because you because you want you want something that he doesn't want you have to be happy for yourself not for him anyways that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope to see you guys again. Until then, Mo, you're out.